Hey, I'm David from Brilliant Directories. In this video, we're going to show you the basic components of setting up your Brilliant Directories website. Whether you're launching a member community, a business directory, or a website specific to your unique niche, this video is designed to help you get your idea online fast. So with that, here we have a brand new website that was set up in just 10 to 15 minutes for a wedding directory. And this is what we'll be recreating here in this video. You can see we've already set up the homepage, customized the look and feel of the website, added some custom content to the homepage. We've also found and imported some business listings into this website. So without further ado, let's dive in to our brand new website and get started on this. So the first thing we'll do in the right hand corner here, we'll click begin setup wizard to launch into the website's setup wizard. We'll click get started and all of these settings can be edited at a later time, whether in the design settings or the general settings. This just makes it easy to get up and running quickly. So the first thing we'll do is we'll add a name to this website. So we'll just call it wedding directory for now. And you can see we're also given a custom vanity URL. This can also be changed in the future, but this is a live website. So while we're still testing and building this site, it will be live online so we can view it on any device and share it with our colleagues. But when we're ready, we can also connect our own custom domain. So let's continue. And now we'll define a target market. So again, in this example, we're focusing on the wedding industry. So here our website will target the wedding market or industry. And the primary type of member is going to be a wedding vendor. So we'll click continue. And now we can select a homepage look. And you can think of this as a theme, but it's important to note that all BD websites start with the same default functionality, regardless of the default theme that you choose to start with. And there are a lot that we can choose from, but really just think of these as a good starting point from which you can further tweak the design and look and feel of the website. So in this case, let's just stick with the standard theme and click continue. And now we can edit the localization settings if needed for the website. And if we have some colleagues, we can invite them to create admin accounts on this website as well. But for now, we'll click complete setup wizard and the wizard will begin to apply our changes. All right, the website is now ready. So we're given a few options here to go right into importing business data, watching some more training videos, or exploring the website admin. You could also click this button to check out the front end of our newly launched website. So again, we haven't done anything on here other than adding our target industry, which we can see here and in the website's logo, wedding directory, wedding vendors, search wedding vendors, review wedding vendors. So now let's get into actually customizing the website. We'll begin by closing the setup wizard and we'll go into settings and general settings. Now this is a great place to start. There are a lot of settings in here. We're not gonna go through all of them, but I would recommend taking a look at all of these, making sure there's nothing that you wanna change. You can also upload some brand images, including your website logo, if you already have one or a favicon. You can also add your social media links if you already have those set up. This will make sure to add those links into the footer of our website. But for now, just so we can make a quick and easy change, let's just remove the website phone number. So let's save these changes. And if we go back to the front end of the website, we can see our phone number is actually in the header right here. And if we refresh now, that phone number is gone. So quick and easy to edit the general settings. That's all we're going to do here for now. Now let's go into the design settings. Now this is where things really get fun. We can actually see some big changes start to take effect on the front end of the website. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the color sets tab and there's a bunch of pre-made color sets. Just like with themes, these are great starting points. You're not locked into these once you choose one. You can always select a different one in the future. And there's a bunch of options. You can see all these color selectors here for us to really fine tune the colors of individual elements. But for now, we'll choose the muted lilac color set and we'll save those changes. Now, if we refresh the front end of the website, you can see already those changes take effect, mostly on these buttons and the header colors up here. Let's go back into the design settings and now let's go into the homepage tab. Let's start by going into the hero title text module. 
We'll change the font family to Poppins, and then we'll choose the center content alignment, and we'll increase the content area width just a little bit from 70% to 80%. Then for the main title text, we'll update this to search to find the best wedding vendors, and we'll change the weight of this text from light to normal. Next, we'll go into search box slash call to action and we'll change the call to action from keyword plus location search to display button links. So this way, instead of having a member search on the homepage, very prominently front and center, we're instead going to display a couple button links to better direct our user's navigation. For the text of button one, we're going to make this search wedding vendors and then the URL for this. So when somebody clicks this button, it will direct them to search underscore results. This is the primary search results page for members on our website. And we'll change the class of this button to success. You can see that these colors have been taken from the color set that we previously selected. So now let's edit the second button. For this one, it's going to be list your wedding services. And we're going to direct users to the join page for this. So if there's a wedding vendor that comes to our website and they want to register, they can click this button. So for now, let's save these changes and see what's happened to the front end. Beautiful. So you can see that our text has been updated here and we now have the two buttons here in the hero section. Let's dive back into the design settings and let's update the hero background image now. This is the primary background image that we see right here on the homepage. So what we're going to do is open up the hero background image module and click replace image. Now what we can do is we can actually access some stock photo libraries totally free. So let's just type in wedding since this is a wedding vendor directory and we'll select the horizontal orientation from the Pexels photo library. The second image seems like a good one. So let's select the large size and add it to our media library and then let's select it. We'll also increase the top spacing of the section from 130 to 180 pixels, and we'll change the image overlay visibility to zero. Let's save those changes and see those take effect. Excellent, we're making some real progress now. Next, let's edit the content that's displayed on the homepage. So this divider section here, search wedding vendors, review wedding vendors, it's a great section. It explains what can be done on the website, but let's get rid of it for now. So let's scroll down in the design settings and under enable additional sections, let's open up select content to display. Section one is that homepage hero divider. Let's instead replace this with some custom content. So from this drop down, let's just select custom content one. We'll get rid of the background on this section and let's click edit settings so we can actually add some custom content. We'll open up the pre-made elements. We'll open up the basic content blocks and now let's drag in some text with images left and right. This is going to look great, super easy to set up. So we can put in some custom text, we can add some buttons if we wanna direct users to other pages. We can also add some images. So let's again access the stock photo libraries. We will replace this image and let's add a picture of some bridesmaids. Again, we'll select the horizontal orientation these girls look happy. So we'll select the large size and add this to our library. And you can see it automatically drops it in to this custom content. Let's do the same for this image. We will replace this. And now let's search for some groomsmen. Excellent. This first one looks great. So let's again, select the large size and add that. And that looks great. So let's save and close for now and refresh the homepage. This is looking great. You can see that hero divider has been now replaced with this custom content section. And if we scroll down, you know, right now this website doesn't have any blog articles. So let's just delete this section of the homepage. So we'll go back into the design settings and we can see section three streaming blog articles. We can change this if we want, but in this case, let's just click the red X to remove it and save our changes. We should see that section now gone on the homepage. All right, excellent. I think the homepage is looking pretty good now. It definitely looks a lot different than from what we started with. Now let's move on to the member categories. These are the services and specialties that your members or businesses will select when joining your website. And this criteria can also be used by your website visitors when they're searching for members 
on your site. So back in the admin area, we'll go to my members and member categories. And we can see here we have our top level, sub level, and sub sub level member categories. We can edit our member categories manually directly from here. We can edit categories, remove them, add new ones, and you can also upload a homepage image for each category. This image will only be displayed on the homepage if you're choosing to stream your member categories on the homepage. If you're not going to do that, then you don't have to upload an image. So that simplifies things a bit. In our case though, we're not going to manually add any categories to this website. We already have a CSV file for wedding services categories. So you can see here in our CSV file, wedding services in column A is our top category. Then we have bridal shops, catering services, entertainment, and more as subcategories in column B. And then we have sub subcategories in column C. So within bridal shops, we have bridal gowns, bridesmaids, dresses, etc. Within catering services, we have full service catering, buffet catering. So this is the CSV file that we're going to import into our website so that the system can automatically create our category structure from this CSV file. So what we'll do is we'll head back into the admin area and in this dropdown member category actions, we'll choose import categories. We will delete the existing member top and sub-level categories. There's just one default top-level category in there. So we can get rid of that. And let's choose our CSV file and begin file import. We'll click continue. And now the system will take care of importing all of our member categories. So that's been done. Let's close this window. Let's go back to the member categories. Perfect. So you can see we have one top-level category, wedding services. 10 sub-level categories, including bridal shops, catering services, and all the rest. And we also have our sub-sub-level categories. So you can see within the wedding services, then within bridal shops, we have bridal gowns, bridesmaids, dresses, etc. So they've all been imported. We can also see this on the front end of our website. So if we go back to the home page and we scroll down to the footer, by default, one of the footer menu links is search by category. So let's click that. That'll just take us to the forward slash categories page on our website. And you can see here, we have our sub categories, bridal shops, catering services, etc. And within each of these, we have the corresponding sub sub categories. These are all links. So users can come to this page if you want to direct them here and they can click any of these categories to view the members within each of those. But that takes us to the next step, actually adding members to our website. To do this, we'll go back into the admin area. And if you already have an existing list of members or want to add members manually, we'll click the import members link still within the my members section of the admin area. Here you can upload a CSV file or add members individually. If you're not going to import any members, then you're all set. At this point, members can already start joining your website on their own. But one of my favorite features, if you're launching a business directory, is the business data page in the admin area. Still within my members, we'll click business data. Now this instant business data tool is super useful because it makes initially populating your website with some business data incredibly fast and easy. So when it's time to start reaching out to actual businesses, trying to get them to register and use your website, you'll have a professional polished website to showcase to them that looks well-established and active. So in our case for select business category, let's just select bridal shop. And then for the location, we'll choose California. Now this tool is not just limited to the United States. Business records will vary based on location, but you can search any location. Every BD website starts with 100 credits, which means you can find and instantly create up to 100 business listings using the instant business data tool. Additional credits can always be purchased. And right now you can use the code SAVE50 to get 50% off on all additional credit purchases. So that's the basics of how this tool works. Let's now continue to the import settings for these 10 business records. The only thing we'll change is we'll assign these members to membership plan one, and we'll add these members to an existing category since we've already set up the member categories on this website. So the top level category will be wedding services, and these are bridal shops that we searched for. So we'll select the bridal shops subcategory. Now let's click import records. 
This will take a little bit of time depending on how many records the system is importing into your website. For 10 records though, this should be very quick. Let's click View Import Progress. And here we can see that the system is processing the import. All right, so the status of the import is now 100% complete. Within My Members, if we click Search Members, we'll see these 10 new businesses imported and they all have some contact information as well as most of them having a logo. Now, if we go to the front end of the website, on the home page, we were showing some members. If we scroll down, we can see the three businesses that we imported using the Instant Business Data tool. And if we click on just one of them, we can see that a beautiful profile page has been created with their name, their logo or profile photo, contact information, about section, and some other information as well. And if we just click member directory in the menu, we can see all of the other businesses that were automatically found and imported into the website. So that's how to quickly set up the basics of your BD website. Next, be sure to check out our quick setup guides. You can get there very easily in the website admin area. If you just click the dashboard link, you'll see the videos here in the top left. But what you could also do is under my account, if you click view my websites, this will take you to your account dashboard within the BD system. And in the left-hand sidebar, you have getting started videos. If you click that, you'll find all of our quick setup video guides. When you're ready, they'll show you how to connect your domain name, your payment gateway, configure the membership plans and pricing you wanna to offer to your members, and much more. And also in this sidebar, you have a link to the support documentation. Really highly recommend checking that out. We have support documents for every feature within the BD platform. Now there's no doubt that you'll have some questions along the way and our in-house support team is always happy and eager to assist you. You can get in touch with our support team directly by creating a support ticket. You have that link here in the left-hand sidebar as well. You can also create a ticket if you're back in your website's admin area. Within my account, you can click create new ticket. That will direct you to the same page here within your actual BD account dashboard. So there you have it. If you don't have your Brilliant Directories website yet, you can launch a fully functional free trial over at brilliantdirectories.com forward slash trial to kick off your project today. So thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you get the ball rolling with your website, and we're so excited to see what you create with Brilliant Directories. Take care.